All right, this is your YLC Direct, live on the man with your life coach, Marcus. We're still eight. I'm trying something new. Instead of recording an entire hour, hour and 15 minutes, we're trying to do segments of 10 minutes or 12 minutes or so in hopes that as we upload them to YouTube and if you're busy or whatever the case may be, you can subscribe to us on YouTube, Select USA TV, or follow us on Twitter, Select USA TV, or just inbox us for all information. Maybe you could just like our page, but if you inbox us on Facebook, we are Your Life Coach celebrating you and your life, or Your Life Coach promoting you. That's right, on Facebook, it is Your Life Coach promoting you, or Your Life Coach celebrating you. Like our page, the Select USA TV I Network on Facebook. And as I said, follow us on Twitter. So we're talking about the chemistry of the mind and economic power. And I'm going to continue to read there. I had to share a tidbit with you there. Here we are. Let's go. All right. Observe profitably the frequency with which the word harmony appears throughout this chapter. There can be no development of a master mind where this element of perfect harmony does not exist. That's what I said in my last segment. If you're if if I am if I am struggling with an, an impeded pattern or a pattern that repeats that but's not profitable or a pattern that is uh, 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 continuously uh, reappearing uh, uh, but it doesn't yield the fruit uh, that I uh, can enjoy and others can also enjoy, then the, 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 the difference is me. Because we are magnetic in power. That's why there is a mastermind in culture, to sweep along all the magnets of human uh, uh, existence uh, in whatever dynamic it may be, whether it be in a city or a state or in a country or whether it be in a legislator or whether, or whether it be in law, or whether it be in, in, in criminal situations, uh, to sweep along the minds toward a persuasion uh, or, or, or sweep along a mind toward a principle. And, and allow you to abandon or encourage you or persuade you or maybe even deceive you into abandoning individual harmony. And thereby, individual harmony is a, really a candidacy for a mass mind plot, if you will. But as you become centered, balanced, integral in the assessment of self, then you can find your purpose, at least it begins to peak. You begin to find two plans. You're not afraid of correction. Listen, there is a place beyond offense. There is a place beyond religious protocol. There is a place beyond what we are are, are privy to. Just like when I do a broadcast, you know, I, 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 you know, I could think that I've done something, but then when I look at the viewerships and see uh, that the viewership uh, could be higher, I ask myself, what else can I do? That's that flexibility factor. In order to bring myself, because I'm in harmony with my message, I'm in harmony with my principles, I'm in harmony with my delivery, and I believe in this. I eat this day and night. This is what I accept as my reality. I want to share something good with those of you that are on online 24-7 uh, or those of you that peak online and so I always look for another way it may require of me more work but whatever I need to do to enhance harmony within me will attract you toward perhaps a mass mind of principles of success see they're gonna have a mass mind for good or for bad when someone scores and your team scores uh, all the people on, on that team uh, applauds that's a mass mind. All right? Let's move on. <coughs> there can be no development of a master mind where the element of perfect harmony does not exist. The units of one mind will not blend with the units of another mind until the two minds have been aroused and warmed, as it were, with a spirit of perfect harmony of purpose. Well, we talked about it last week. This is why sex is so prevalent. Because it seems that we have reduced our human experience down to a central perceptional environment if you will I mean is that all that you can do is pick up a girl pull her panties down uh, get her in the bed lick her up and down stick her in 50 different 11 ways and then brag to your buddies is that the synopsis of relating to an, a, another person 
Is that the synopsis of relating to our women in society? And even the women have gotten on the bandwagon as I, I was listening to a, 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 a Crunk for Christ radio, uh, and the women have gotten on a bad, not, I didn't hear this on Crunk for Christ radio, but it kind of reminded me of some, some, some stats about the home being 70% or more uh, of single women. The women have gotten on their bandwagon too, by which many of them say, I don't need a man. It's not that you have to be in a relationship with a man and need a man. It's that it is evident that the, perfect, the spirit of perfect harmony regarding your interaction with men has been broken and thereby impedes your progress to move forward in your, in your efforts to coexist with men in an intimate setting and we're not talking about sex yet. But to the degree that now we reduce the man down to a sexual experience and call it chemistry, but it's chemistry on level one. It's not chemistry beyond that which is flirtatious and perhaps lustful and perhaps full of uh, 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 infatuation. It's not, it's, not, it's not anything beyond that because if it was the chemistry or the harmony would be intact. So the woman and the man has to, has to go back to it, becoming integral in the assessment of themselves and ensure that they are healed and they are well. They're not hiding behind Bible. They're not hiding behind church. They're not hiding behind religious protocol. They have engrafted, grafted themselves into the principles of that of those institutions or those things. But they're not hiding behind that. Not having a life. Not finding purpose. Not living on an, an, an intention that will cause them now to be integrated uh, into a mass mind. That will progress them forward. The chemistry of the mind for most of us is on a level one basis. It's what we feel, touch, taste, see, smell. No faith required. It's a sensual, pleasurable, even though the interaction of the sexual situation or the lustful situation or the infatuated situation seems to have given us energy and fuel as we said on last session, session 7 and sex does that but you'll never find the harmonious life of purpose and destiny living your life based on sexual partners we were not made to live just a sensual life. We were made to live a life of justice. We were laid, made to live a life of happiness. We were made to live an educated life. We were made to, be, uh, to live a, a responsible life. And so all of the factors are in play to ensure that the chemistry is uh, 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 producing a harmonious result that propels us forward and not sends us backward, only to repeat the same patterns to now feed us the necessary mind chemicals to abort the feelings of guilt, fear, shame, and so much more. All right? There can be no development of the mastermind, the units, and so forth and so on. The moment two minds begin to take divergent roles of interest, the individual units of each mind separate, and the third element, the mastermind, that grew out of the friendly or harmonious alliance will dis disintegrate. And I might add, then you become now a candidate for the cultural mass mind. Our kids are, 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 are candidates for that all the time. I got to go to break. This is your life coach, Marcus Slett, on your life coach. Success for your process toward your success. I'll be right back.